Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with a positively disgusting performance of Bruckner's Fifth Symphony from, you guessed it, Christian Tielemann on Sony with the Vienna Philharmonic. Here's the cover. Yes, there it is. There it is. The spawn of Satan. Oh, my God, this is just awful. And, you know, what makes it so crazy is that Tielemann already did a dismal Bruckner fifth for Deutsche Grammophon. So you have competing dismalities on two separate major labels. What insanity in the world of classical music could possibly produce this state of affairs? It's absolutely beyond reckoning. It, it really is. But but if you want to read my review of the first dismal Bruckner fifth, the one on DG, go ahead. It's on classicstoday.com. It's a free review. Just look it up. It's a pretty extensive piece. I mean, blow by blow. And, you know, this one is just as bad. It's a very similar performance. Extremely similar. I mean, unbelievably so similar that there's just no justification for doing it again, is there? There never was in the first place. But, you know, the, the, the essence of the, thing is, of the thing is very simple. Uh, Jochum, Eugen Jochum once joked about Bruckner's Fifth that nothing happens until the very end. And he was right. Nothing really happens until the very end. Tielemann does the very end very well. And he actually has the brass playing like crazy at the very end, which is really exciting. The problem is he does nothing until you get there. And we're talking like 80 minutes. So, so until, you know, 77 of those 80 minutes are completely unlistenable, while the last three are just fine and dandy. That's, that's messed up. Actually, he blows the last three, too, I have to say, in various ways with his silly little manipulations. Occasionally, he has an idea. It's always a bad one. It's, oh, God. But, but that's the best part. Let's put it that way. Now, what is wrong with this performance? Oh, just about everything. First of all, it has no, no, no balls. There's no rhythm to it. The whole thing is slack. I mean, slack so that at the very end, the, the good part, the last chords aren't even together. I mean, that takes some doing. It really does. And, and the problem, you know what it reminded me of? I have to say, do you know when you go to like, a lousy, greasy spoon restaurant. You ever been to one of those when you put your hands on the table and it's like sticky? You know, it's like, ugh, ugh, what was that? This is what that sounds like. You know, there's just, everything is sticky. There's no, there's no coordination or tension or rhythm to the sound. It's just sticky. And then you call the waitress over to like wipe the table off and she pulls out this dirty, dirty rag and she wipes off the table and and then you put your hands down and it's still sticky but it's more liquid sticky i mean it, it that's the first movement it has sort of tacky sticky and then more runny liquid gooey sticky I've never heard it done so dully. Never. You know the climax of the development? You know when everything's going crazy. But you know that part? Well, this is it's just horrible. Absolutely horrible. You think you're never gonna get through it. The same problem afflicts the adagio. The tempo initially seems rather flowing, but rather than make it more interesting every time the same stuff comes back and it comes back the first subject three times, the beautiful second subject twice, it, it just gets duller and heavier and duller and heavier. The scherzo I thought I would never get through. I really didn't. I thought it was going to kill me. I, I, it is the development section. Yeah, Bum, bum, ba, da, 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 it's, it's a torture. Listening to it is simply a torture. And it's, it's a double torture because the whole first section is going to come back after the trio. The trio isn't so bad. But the, but to hear that whole, whole first section all over again performed just as boringly and trudgily as before. Oh, my God. Now, the finale. 
Well, the finale, of course, has the big fugue. Everything in this performance peters out. It gets slower and heavier and duller as it goes. I thought this was actually going to going to work. I mean, the opening is pretty good. The initial fugue subject is nice and galumphy. Um, the second subject is beautiful and it's up to tempo. Um, I, it was okay, but then, oh my God, the big chorale comes in and he, and Tielemann decides to do something. And whenever he decides to do something, it's a terrible idea because what he always does is to soften and 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 smush up and make more legato and eliminate the rhythm. His idea of interpretation is to become completely flaccid. I mean, that's what he does. He just sucks the energy out of everything while he putters around. And so the final statement of that noble chorale, ba, 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 and then behind it, the strings are sustaining a chord. It's so beautiful. No, he has to go, ba, 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 ba like this. It's, it's not what Bruckner wrote, and it's not what any normal person would want to do. Then the fugue begins, the big central developmental fugue, the big, big fugue. It starts out marvelously. It really does. I mean, the Vienna Phil is playing gorgeously. It's, it's rapturous. It's, it's really intense. I thought it was going to be wonderful. But no, as soon as it starts to calm down and quiet down, all the tension disappears. And the end of that fugue, you know, where the timpani come in after it peters out to nothing, and then the timpani go, bump, bump, then it comes back. And then it just, it's just, oh my God, the end of it. Big climax. No, it's da da but um, but um, bum, 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 bum. It's, it's never going to get there, and it never does. And then you have the big ending with the final chords that aren't coordinated. That's the performance. It's just, it's, it's horrible. It's just horrible. One of you, actually, I have to say this. I mean, I feel terrible about it, but one of you said, oh, his fifth is also wonderful. No, it's disgusting. It's it's appalling. And if you know anyone who knows the work could not possibly tolerate this performance for more than like 10 seconds, you know from the very opening with those plodding pizzicatos, the super adagio tempo, blump, 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 blump. Blump, 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 blump. I mean, wasn't that excruciating just hearing me do that? It doesn't sound any better <laughs> the way Tielemann does it. Trust me on that. This is a disaster, and I'm not surprised, and it's a pity, and he's done it twice this badly. God knows how many more times he's going to do it. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. I have better things to do with my life. So do you. Keep on listening to other things. Take care.